Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, today I want to share on how this little ministry of mine got started. And it all began, well, it began a long time ago with studying God's Word. But there was a point in time where I was puffed up, you know, and, and I studied God's Word to the point where knowledge puffed me up and then I had this expectation from God like like I deserved something phenomenal from him because I was this great chosen person who had all this wisdom right and I knew everything and then I went to prison and uh, was humbled and realized that I was a dirtbag and uh, I needed God's grace, just like everybody else. And, uh, and when I was in prison, uh, God really began to reveal to me uh, Stephen's life. And I'm just going to share a little bit about that. It says, And in those days, when the number of the disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is it doesn't make sense that for us to leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brothers, look you out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. And I just want to focus on that scripture right there because uh, it's important to understand this. You know, here I was thinking that um, I was a very spiritual person and I was deserving of some great uh, work that God was, was supposed to give me. And then I fell and was humbled and, I, and God began to open my eyes. And when I saw this, I understood something that I really need to understand. It says the twelve called them. And so it didn't make sense for us to leave, but, but look for people, look for these men, seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. So this daily ministration of just serving tables, giving, uh, because their widows were ne neglected in the daily ministration, uh, they were they put them over this business of just ministering to the widows. And, you know, they chose these seven men to take care of this business. And it just showed me something like, like that job might have seemed small, you know. But the people that had to be chosen to do that job had to be full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. So I think sometimes, this is what I'm trying to say, is you know we get full of the Holy Spirit and God gives us some wisdom and we have this high expectation. But you know we forget that God starts us out with little things. Like it says, I've talked about this before, whoever's faithful with little shall be faithful with much. And... At the time that this was beginning to be revealed to me, I realized like I just needed to be faithful with anything that God would be willing to give to me to do, no matter how small it seemed. And and I was actually in prison, so there wasn't really much that I could be appointed to. Uh, but I was faithful with whatever I could do. I was just I faithfully went to chapel. I faithfully went to the Bible studies. I faithfully uh, studied the word i faithfully did everything that i could and then i started to notice that the lord would just give me a little bit more and the how this ministry uh even started where i was would be doing devotions was there was a chalkboard in the leavenworth chapel and when i was in the chapel one time i realized oh my gosh that chalkboard is empty so i wrote a scripture on there and then every day I would go in the chapel in the evening and I would erase the chalkboard and I would write a new scripture on there. And I, and I experienced a lot of adversity with that. Um, and, and people would go in there and they would, 
change the wording or erase certain letters to change what the word said and sometimes even erase the chalkboard altogether one time somebody erased it and was like wrote ross is gay on there and i was angry and i stopped doing it you know and and then two different people came up to me and they said hey why didn't you put a scripture on the board and then i realized you know i didn't even see those people in the chapel like for study they were literally going into the chapel and just reading the scripture outside of any of the religious like uh sections or times or bible studies or anything but god showed me and reminded me of this like look just be faithful with this thing that i've given you to do this is a matter of business that i've appointed to you just do it you know what i mean you ain't got to worry about anything else just put this scripture up there that's all i'm asking you to do be faithful to continue to do that so i just wanted to share that um and then now you know i'm home uh i still do this because that's kind of the one thing that i that i got into doing and i really enjoy um the scripture and i, I didn't used to elaborate on it i used to just send out text messages every day to people um just with the scripture then people were like well hey i don't really understand what that scripture means would you please elaborate on a little bit so then i'd start making a little text with a little bit of a paragraph and now you know matthew talked me into doing the youtube channel so long story short be faithful with little things and god will give you much now just being faithful with what god's given me i am being brought up as a leader in st louis like over the whole city you know what I mean? Not I'm, I'm not. I am one of the city leaders, like leading a movement in this city. And, and God is is just appointing me to that. And that was what I in my mind had always thought God had for me. But he's not going to give he wasn't going to give me that without me starting low. You know what I mean? It's a humility before honor. So if you have some great vision from God that he has for you, that's good. But don't think that that means you don't have to start serving tables or serving the widows or serving in some small way to get there. Amen.